this video is going to cover what a reflection is. Again, another transformation. Um, and this is in course one and in geometry. Um, for course one, it's um, 8.2. So a reflection. All right, so think about a reflection. What is a reflection? A reflection is like I look in the mirror and I see myself right on the other side of that mirror. So um, it's like a mirror image across a specific line. That's what a reflection is. So it's a mirror image across uh, a line. So let me show you kind of what that'll look like. Okay, hold on. Let me tell my boys they're a little loud. Shh, boys, can you play upstairs for a sec? You're a little loud. Um, all right, so reflection, let's see. So this isn't going to be like perfectly pretty, but you'll get the point. So if I have a triangle, oops, and I want to reflect it over this line, and that's kind of what my triangle looks like. When it reflects, right, it's going to flip it over to the other side, and then this point would be the same distance away about here, and then this point would be the same distance away from this point, Whoop, which would be about here, so reflected, same distance from here to here, and same idea for this one, it would be about here. So that if you could imagine folding at that line, that they would lie on top of each other, right? That's a reflection. And so we do this on a graph with a point, like where does it move to if I reflected about this line or that line? And the hardest part probably is understanding what the line is they want you to reflect over and what that does to the values. So, um, so each, ooh, let's look at an example. What if I have, I'm going to make this a little bit prettier, a graph of a triangle. So let's see here. So let's make this as pretty as I can. This is the point one, one. Um, let's do the point, what's the three? Yeah, one, two, three. Two, I think is what I did. Three, two, and five, and negative two. So three, four. Here's five, and negative two. And I just have this triangle here. I was trying to make it the same as what I have on my paper, just so I remember. All right. So whoop, there's a triangle, and I'm going to call this a uh, point A point B, point C, so that I could then label uh, the image of A and the image of B and so forth. So what would I see, this is my just my original or my pre-image, what would I see if they want me to reflect? What would I see? I would see a capital R. We're going to have a little r represent something later in this chapter, so we need to know a capital R is a reflection. And um, we would say the line so I'm going to say the y-axis for this one, and I'm going to say of triangle ABC. So this is the notation uh, that says I'm going to reflect about this line for these points or that triangle ABC. So what is the y-axis? That is right here, right? So we got to go the same distance away um, and make that mirror image to where I'd fold it. So I look at point A first. I can see it's one away, right, and one over. So I'm going to go one over in the opposite direction and one up, right? There's our reflection about the y-axis. Let's look at what that did to our original point. This is going to become point A. So A was one, one. What is the image of A? going to look like, that doesn't look like a posture very good, it is going to be at negative 1, 1. What, what, what changed in that? Our x value changed to negative. So let's just think about that as we move forward. Now b is 1, 2, 3 over. So 1, 2, 3. And so it's going to be 3 away, but it's 2 up. So we're going to be about here to get that reflection of b. So let's look at B. B is the point three, 
to, and where is the image of B, not the image of A, but the image of B? The image of B would be found at negative 3 and up 2. So again, what do you notice about the points? When I'm reflecting over the y-axis, those x's are changing to negative. There's lots of patterns you're going to find that are true, and it makes it a lot easier to make these reflections on a harder function um, later uh, when we cover this topic again. So the last one, 5, negative 2, so this time 3, 4, 5, negative 2 would be here. Now let's draw that and see if it appears to be Alright, so this is the image of C. So what, look, if I folded it, don't they look like they would exactly lie on top of each other? Yep, and then our image of, or our C value was at 5, negative 2, and our C image is going to be at negative 5, negative 2. So again, what did we do? Y axis changed the X's to negative. So what would you think if I did the X axis? Right, that's this way, right? And I'm reflecting this way. What do you think it'll do to those y values? Go to change them to negative. So you can see some correlation there as we look. But you really can look and just measure and, and, and figure out those differences or distances a little. Let's try one more, or two more, but um, my boys are so loud. They're playing Star Wars. Okay, so let's look at <coughs> the reflection of x equals 2 for the following points j is 1, 4, um, a is 3, 5, and oops, g is going to be at 2, 1. So first let's graph these so we have an idea and we have to know what the line x equals 2 is to be able to reflect all of these points over that line. Um, let's see, so mine are all positive on this one, so I don't really need a big negative section. So I'm running out of paper, so I'll just kind of make it a little short. So this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis. And I try to keep the distances the best I can. One, two, three, four, I, I mean, I really probably should use graph paper, but I've gotten so good at using line paper. So I try to make this distance the same as this distance here, and I could measure it perfectly if I needed to. But let's graph our original points. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, hey boys, upstairs please. One, one, two, three, four, or whisper. So this is J, one, two, three, Five would be about here, and this is A, and two, one would be G. And what am I reflecting this over? What makes this one harder is the reflection line is in the middle of your three dots, or you could call them a triangle if you wanted, but um, I'm not necessarily going to do the triangle. But X equals two is the line that's vertical that goes through the X at two. So that's another thing you have to remember is x equals 2 is going to be vertical through 2. If I had y equals 2, it would be horizontal through 2. So think of it as you want all the x values to be 2, which is that whole line. Whatever can help you remember that, that line um, for our reflections. So then we can see... I wish I had a different colored pencil, but I do not have one with me right now. So I wish I could... Um, to show A... So if I look at the image of A, it's going to be, I'm one away from that line here at th one, two, three. And so if I moved it, it would be here, right? So it's still one away on the same um, line here, and that would be the image of A, okay? And um, although that looks a little off. <laughs> that is the point one five. So we had three five, now we have one five. Now let's look at those in general. So we know that the image of A is going to be at one five by looking at the graph and mirroring it on the other side. Just looking at a graph. 
let's look at the differences between these two points. The fives are the same, so we still went up the same distance, but what did we do to the x values? Well, think about the number two is where our line is. You are three and one are both the same distance from two. So one's in this direction, one's in that direction. So you can kind of see that they're the same distance from that number two. Okay, so J is now um, at 1, 4, and I can see that I need it to be about here, right? Um, at 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's going to be our, oops, our image of J. Okay, so our J's image should be at 3, 4, and where again we have that set those same numbers one and three because they're easy to count from to make this example or a lot of the examples or a lot of the problems you have are pretty easier ones that distance is the same from that two so one and three okay last one is on the point so what's going to be the image well if it's on the line I can't really reflect it either way so it actually stays the same it doesn't move so that one's going to stay two one the image. So I wanted this example because the line went right through the middle and one of the points stayed the same and you could kind of see those mirror images. Okay. All right, my last example. Uh, my last example is I want to move a point using um some of the lines that are just harder, I guess I have two more examples for a lot of people. So what if I said I want the reflection over the line y equals x? This is why I want to do this one. I want to remind you what y equals x looks like. Of the point, I'm going to just do 1.4 comma negative 2. Uh, maybe I'll do two points. Um, negative 3, um, negative 1. So here's our two points. I want to reflect these over the line y equals x. And a lot of people don't know what the line y equals x is. Well, it's where your numbers are the same because y equals x. Where would that be on my graph? Well, let's see. Um, okay, so let's graph 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 2. Um, and that's going to be A, and B is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So here's big B. Okay, where is this line? It's where Y equals X, so like think about those points. It would be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. That's how I graph the line Y equals X. I just put in numbers like I did um, in the earlier chapters in this class. So I know it's going to be at 2, 2, and you can kind of see at negative 1, negative 1, where all the numbers are the same. This is the line Y equals X. I'm going to again do it as dotted. Okay, so there's our, I'm going to do it dotted because I want to reflect over that line. So what does this do to our points when I reflect it over this weird y equals x line? Well, our a is going to switch, and I want it to be over here, right, somewhere. How am I going to figure that out? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. So um, I'm actually going to switch my x and y, and I'm going to go negative 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now look at those two. Do they look like they would be the image of each other? Could I fold it at that and it looks like the image? So yeah, so when you have a reflection over y equals x, you're switching those two numbers to become the opposite x and y. So x and y are, are interchangeable on that. So kind of cool. So the next one for B we would switch them again and it would be negative 1, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 3 which would be our image of B. Okay so I can see if I fold at that line those work. So it's that was a little tricky and you're asked a couple questions with it so just remember that oh that's the one if it's reflected over y equals x I switch the two numbers the x and the y and that'll show that reflection. What if 
in a similar aspect here, I had a reflection over the line y equals negative x. So uh, let's reflect maybe those same two points. A is equal to 4, negative 2. And what did I say B was? Because I made it up. Negative 3, negative 1. Negative 3, negative 1. So let's do these two points here and look and see what it does to them. First of all, what is these, or what does this all look like? Oops. All right, so this point, first point, one, two, three, four, negative two, and one, two, three, negative one. Here's B, here's A. What does this line look like? We'll put in numbers. If I put in one for X, I get negative one for Y. So if I put in one for X, I get negative one for Y. If I put in two, I get negative two for Y. If I put in negative one, I get out positive one for Y. So this line is going to go straight down the middle. But on the um, opposite direction, like our one that we just had was down this way, right? The Y equals negative X is this way. So what do you think we're going to do to the values for this one if I switched the values for the last one? Um, well, I'm going to switch the values and see what we can, well, let's just see what it does. So that would be negative 2, 4. That definitely doesn't reflect over that line, right? We need it to be, here's A, I need it to be over here somewhere. So let's think about um, what if we switched the, the because it's got a negative X, what if we switched the values um, signs and switched the values. So we're going to do double things. Switch X and Y and switch the signs. Let's see what we get. We would get 2, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 would be here. Doesn't that look like the image of A if I folded it? Okay, so the image of A is going to switch them and switch the signs. So if I have a Y equals negative X, I'm switching them and switching the signs. Okay? So B, let's think about B image, switch them and switch the signs would be 1, 3. 1, 1, 2, 3. B image. Does that look right from there? If I folded it, would it be there? Yeah, so if I look from B to B. Another thing you can do is just uh, physically fold your paper and look. If you have graph paper, you can easily fold on that line and double check. Do they line up? Do they line up? Be easier on graph paper to make sure that your distances are exactly versus drawing them out. But you should not be just looking at the screen when you do the section and guessing. Because you can guess pretty close and get a lot of these right. You really need to draw them out and make sure you understand. The more of them you write out, the better you're going to be. So also complete the work in the book, the workbook that you got in the mail. If you haven't got it in the mail yet, you can shoot me an email and I can be happy to send you the pages. You can also find the pages in the full textbook on Pearson's website. Not Math Excel, but Pearson's website. So that information is in Canvas. So we have our Canvas class, right? Then we have the two other, the book and then the Math Excel. All right, so um, that is kind of the idea of a reflection and looking at the kind of harder ones as well.